Good morning, guys. Wasn't Beyond Meat supposed to report yesterday? According to TC2000... Oh, it's August... F wait, August 4th? Oh, I think it's early November. Okay, TC2000 is wrong. Alright. Um, the Discord link is on my About page at the bottom. where it is About page, Discord link is not working anymore. Oh, it's a temporary link. Oh, man. Why can't they make it easy? I'll have to check the link. And now my TC, or not sorry, TC2000, my uh, market smith is not working. Anyone else's market smith? Is it working? Mine's not. 
it worked like three minutes ago. All right. So there are some interesting earnings, um, but nothing actionable right now. Yeah, there are no breakouts in this market. Absolutely not. There are things setting up though, like SC, JD, Beely, uh, some of the solar names. There are things setting up. TTD and Roku are holding up really well and flagging. Sale, yeah, sale is holding up well. OPTT had news, okay. OPTT. Uh, yeah, I'm not short. I have barely any long exposure. I have some of these crypto names and the sell lazy small position. But I'm still short Peloton, Tesla, and NIO. Gravy. Yeah, Gravy looks like a great, great looking short. I like this one. Very thin stock. But this is known for making big moves. It's a... Uh, gravy. Isn't this... Um, the company that makes Guild Wars? Or am I thinking about another company? No, it can't be. Then it would have a bigger market cap. I'm thinking about something else. Ragnarok, okay. <clears throat> TPB. Um, no. Uh, if I think Mara and Riot are good setups, no, they're not. Yes, only you with no sound. Uh, silver is getting tight. Yeah, silver is getting really tight here. Wow, incredibly. Uh, gold and silver are getting so tight. It's it's incredible. Like gold. Last time gold was this tight was back here. Look at what it did. Look at this breakout. Look at what happened. Boop, 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 boop. And now it's super tight again. This is what you're looking for. Tightness. A big trend. A big move. Then sideways and tight, tight, tight. And then the next breakout. That's how these things move. I'm in full position in, uh, in NIO. Tesla, I'm not in full position anymore. And Peloton, I'm also still full position. I covered very few. I mean, these shorts, they like, I either I get break out like for a small loss or break even, or these things are home runs. They, they like either or. Like this Peloton, this thing lo really loses the 20 day. Next stop is the 50 day, which is 16% lower, 17% lower. Same thing with Tesla, if it really loses this area, you know, this thing has 15, 20% of downside. Uh, and and I O too, you know. Tesla, yeah, it is. It is kind of bullish. It it's not really breaking below the 50 day. It's kind of building higher lows. So for now, it's kind of bullish uh, price action on Tesla. Uh, it looks like I may get uh, stop. Whoa, wow, that's a big candle. Um, there's a good chance I'm gonna get stopped out near the open. Never bet against Papa Elon. I made it successfully a lot of times. 
it's not about betting any against anyone. It's about trading a price action. DPHC, uh, it uh, merged. It was a um, SPAC and now it uh, it's gone. Well, it's not gone, it's uh, another uh, ticker. Yeah, markets are open. I'm really not watching anything closely here. Wow, Tencent is breaking out of this little flag here, but it's such a slow moving stock. I'm thinking this Roku, if it loses the 20, they could be a, a short, if it loses this flag, but not a high conviction setup. Carvana, yeah, Carvana looks good. It's building higher lows and it looks like it wants to reclaim the 50 day, but right now it's not really a breakout type of a market this is the type of market where bases are built and that's good let the crazy people churn their money let them blow up and when times get good again we'll be there to capitalize next time we have a nice run in the markets we're, we're gonna double triple our money Right now, it's time for patience. How do I know the market is strong or weak? You can just see it like, uh, for example, you can cl just clearly see these lower highs, right? So every time the market rallies, it gets slammed down. But you should, what you want to see in a good market, you, you see higher lows. You see this like we had in April, May, June, July, August, September, or not September, but August. You get higher lows. Every time the market dips, it finds support. R right now, we're in a mode where every time the market tries to rally, it finds resistance. That's how we know. And you can also clearly see breakouts are failing, breakouts are not following through, and all of that stuff. Wow, yeah.
solars are getting weak. Solar was the one sector that held up really well overall, but right now they're also really weak. I don't like it. I don't like this action at all, man. Like one after one, the strong stocks are breaking down. Like NIO held up like a champion. Now it finally looked like it started breaking down. Roku looks like it wants to break down, lose the 20. Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But I just don't like it right now. The action is not that great. You gotta be really, really selective and careful. You don't want to blow up. Okay, it's very easy to not blow up. Just don't make any trades. This is what those one of those environments. Exactly, exactly what Saibu said. Exactly, there are no setups this time. Back in September, there were a lot of setups. I did buy some of this Exas. It's an episodic pivot. It's an earnings, and uh, they also bought a company. I only got a very small shares, uh, not even a tenth of my pos uh, intended position. It's a thin stock. So we'll see if it dips a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get more. Uh, but it, it's taking out this long range, and you know I kind of like it. We'll see. I'm still having, uh, you know, I'm still pissed I missed Snap, or that I passed on it. That one is was just such a perfect one. I, I can't believe I missed, that, or I passed on it. Like, I, I saw the huge volume out of the gate, I still didn't buy it. Well, this AYX looks interesting. There are some selective setups like this AYX in a good market. I would be all over this thing. Or maybe not. It's kind of a thin stock. Um, like SC. You know, SC is intriguing. Hmm. Court? Nah. I don't see a good setup here. <clears throat> uh, Tesla, is it strong? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get stopped out soon. Uh, yeah, it's bullish. It's reclaiming the base. So, it's... Uh, Showing some bullish price action here. Uh, but there's not a setup on the long side. It, it needs to go, you know, it needs to prove itself a little bit more. But I will cover it if it if it stops me out. Gonna take a, about break even on it. Yeah, it's gonna be a break even trade. I'm out of Tesla. And now we wait. What's NIO doing? Is it also going up? Yeah, it's also going up. Pen. Mm, yeah, pen is also it, it gets rejected every time it hits the 20 EMA on the system in short. Yeah, it looks like it wants to test the rising 100 day, which is like 20% lower, or yeah, 18% lower. It can't rally for now.
They have this SC, it's a Southeast Asian stock. ANAP, uh, yeah, well, this is way too late. Um, man, I'm tempted by this one. Oh, it's such a strong name. I sold it like a couple of days ago, three, four days ago. It's, it's just distinct and can't go down. Hmm. I couldn't resist. <clears throat> like the thing is, I think the indices look overall okay. Like we're having a, just a normal bull market pullback. But um, I'm, you know, if I see something really, really good, I, I just, I can't resist. I, I need to, I need to trade it. <laughs> But it's literally like the only stock that looks good right now on the long side. So that that's never a good sign when you have only have like one good good uh, setup. If I can explain the setup, really? Okay, you know, dude, you need to you need to, uh, you need to uh, uh, follow the instructions on the screen. This is the one setup I keep talking about daily. You need to you need to follow the instructions on the screen. There's no need to block him. I mean, but you know, a a all everyone who's new here, you need to follow the instructions of the screen. So we're all on the same page. This is the one simple basic breakout setup I talk about every single day exactly it's called the million setup But uh, again, in this market, you know, I, I don't really have high hopes for it. <laughs> it feels like, you know, right now, things, some things are, you know, setting up, etc. Like TTD looks really good. Not for today, but, you know, later this week. Uh, Beely, Roku, these things look so good. Like as soon as the market's selling or the market gets better, these things gonna blow up. Blow up to the upside, that is, not blow up to. Uh, test line on top of the number. Damn, NIO putting in a strong candle here. Viva, yeah, yeah, it, it's it's strong. These things, and, and you can see the ones that held up, right? The ones that didn't sell off in, in the recent pullback we had over the past two three weeks. These are the ones that are going today. You know, Viva, SC, Tencent. Exas, 
those are the ones going. That's why you pay attention to the to the stocks that don't sell off in a in a in a pullback. That's why you pay attention to the strongest ones. Carvana breaking out of this range. Oh, Shopify. That's a strong one. Damn, net is strong. Oh man, there's so many strong ones. Oh, not so many, but there, there's a bunch that look look good actually. Hmm. But that's the problem again here. Uh, the markets are still you know in a short-term downtrend like we need to like for example qqqs we need to reclaim this 285 bef before uh you know the index lo would look good again right now we're just rallying into this resistance what happens if we rally to like 284 will it get slammed down again in that case all of these uh, long setups well, they're gonna fail if that happens that's the problem with these types of markets you will get good setups but uh, are they gonna have follow-through that's that's the question so you gotta be careful the shop if it looks good man. oh they report in two days okay so there's another thing there's there's a lot of earnings coming in the next couple of weeks like this this week and next week are gonna be really really heavy on earnings so th there's gonna be i think we're gonna have some really good earnings related breakouts uh because a lot of these momentum stocks they've gone sideways for the past two three months like for example shopify this thing has gone sideways for one two three four months and they report in two days. Like a lot of them look very similar. You bought some hog oh, oh they reported today yeah if you bought it on the opening range highs that's a good one i guess i don't know what the earnings were but it looks good good volume and everything if i would enter something like carvana um it's not really that clean of a setup the rate there's nothing wrong with the range but it's uh I don't know. I mean, just, you know, in a good market, in a better market, I would maybe have bought this. But, the, yeah, I, I really need to see. Because it's below these moving averages, and that's what I don't like. Like, something like SC, like, this thing is just, you know, near all-time highs, right? It's just flagging near all-time highs. When this Carvana kind of broke down a little bit. It broke down below the 10, 20, and 50. Uh, so it's, it's not as strong as of a setup. That's the problem. Oh shit, Exos! I still only have like one tenth of my size. I can't believe this thing. Going. This thing was so thin. Oh man, this was so thin. Nio looks like this thing wants to stop me out. If I saved up a certain amount of capital before deciding to trade, well, I did have some capital when I decided to trade. I took my uh, my life savings, six thousand bucks or whatever it was, five six. 
NVTA. Uh, I don't see a good setup here. What way do I organize them? This is how I organize my back watch list by date. And then, then I just, when today's date starts to catch up, then I go and clean a couple. So like once or twice per week, twice per week maybe, I, I go through these and, you know, clean, you know, remove a few of these. That's why I keep track of them. EXPI has Q's earnings guidance, okay. Oh, it's a thin one. Mm -hmm. Opening range highs is when the stock goes up and keeps taking out highs of the day. LRN, where it's a bad episodic pivot. Uh, I don't know, I don't know anything about it, but the short coming into this looked like crap. And this thing also has fraud accusations and stuff like that. Why can't I get my market smith to work? Opinion on space, uh, it looks like shit. This thing should be in space, but it looks like it's on the ground. If I have a video on the man mental aspects of trading, nope. Can I look at Shumia? Yes, I can. Now I have looked at Shumia, but what's your question? SHOO. Uh, these types of setups are very random. I, I would avoid this. It's a very just a random shoppy name, just having a random update. I, I don't see an edge in something like this. A rap battle? <laughs> uh, U possible setup? Um, it had a setup a few days ago, but yeah, maybe next week if it tightens up here. NIO, what's going on here? Oh, it just stopped me out. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm out then. I, yeah, that's a strong one. It never really broke. Well, it tried to. It, tr it broke down yesterday, but now it reclaimed. Yep, yeah, strong one. This is what strong stocks do. They hold up really well in a correction, and then when a correction is about to end, they just you know shoot up. Uh, but sometimes uh, the 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 ones that look the strongest are the ones that gonna go down the most. Um, so, you know, it's, um, you never know. That's why I also short uh, the leaders when the market looks like, uh, they sh it's softening up. Because net, you know, if the market correction had in, you know, you know, kept going for a while, the market was a bit weaker, you know, this NIO could very easily pull back to 20 bucks. That's the thing, you never know. But you keep, uh, you, you need to keep doing trades. Because if you don't trade, you'll never have any wins. If you don't have any losses, you're also never going to have any wins. Livongo. Um, yeah, Livongo is strong. Wow, this thing looks really good. Uh, not for today. Uh, because if, if this thing breaks out today, it would be a very wide-range candle. 
But for tomorrow, T Doc and Livongo. Well, T Doc is a bit short. Oh, they report tomorrow. Oh, okay, that's a good thing. I hope they report pre market. Please tell me they report pre market. Please. Please tell me they. No, they report after the close. Of course they do. Beely is looking. Well, right now the we are starting to see a lot of breakout attempts. This is exactly what happened back in September too. The indices still looked like crap, but the leading stocks they they broke out a lot of them. But right now there are fewer breakouts and fewer good setups than we had in September. <sighs> okay, so what am I gonna do with my 1,200 shares of excess? I, I wanted 10,000. That's a starter, but this thing just shot straight up. All right. Baba. Um, yeah, Baba is setting up. If he can tighten up a few more days, this is going to be a five-star setup. Very slow stock. Uh, most of you should not be trading this thing, uh, but it is setting up. If you can just tighten up one or two more days. I also kind of like this. Zen, it's a, also a kind of shoppy type of stock, but it's holding up really well. And now look at SC, you know, it's straight down since I bought it. <laughs> and Carvana too, look at this thing, it, it tried to rally and now it's fading, you know, this is, this is what happens in an environment like this. You gotta be really, really careful. Like, like most of you, you're better off until Nasdaq has reclaimed like 285, or until like this Nasdaq uh, has reclaimed this this tr uh, trend line. Once Nasdaq can get above this trend line and hold, that's uh, that's a green light. Right now, it's just you know. Hazardous environment. Palantir, yeah, Palantir broke out yesterday. Some of these recent IPOs have been working kind of well. WTRE, uh, whoa, this thing barely trades. But I don't know. It looks like some kind of a buyout shatter. It's, it's almost too tight to be normal. I wouldn't be trading this thing. Uh, Civic, were you blocked for 10 minutes? Well, you you asked uh, why explain the setup, but it's, it's just a basic uh, like breakout setup. Like uh, if you if you look at my YouTube video, uh, you know it, 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 you know I go through hundreds of these type of setups. Just a basic breakout setup. But yes, my moderators are a little bit more aggressive than I am. I, I haven't blocked a single person. Guys, you shouldn't be afraid of me. You should be afraid of my moderators. Yeah, my moderators are, uh, I've drilled them well. They are like bloodhounds. They're going to eat you alive. <laughs> so SC is doing what a breakout attempt is. <laughs> well, we'll see. 
it's not over yet. This thing could trade at 170 before the day is over. Oh, Livongo. Ooh, this thing is so strong. But so far what I've noticed is a lot of these stocks that reported are down. Like Dexcom, Shag... Wait, Dexcom, did they... Did they report? Or are, gonna, are they going to report um, after it close? I need to check. Oh, I think they're going to report after it close. Okay, that makes sense. And something like Dexcom, like this thing has been going sideways for what? Six months? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six months. Like if this thing can break out above this 420 area after oh, oh, uh, on earnings, it could be like a five star episodic pivot. You know, this thing could go to 550, 600 on that. So there's there's a lot of these like momentum stocks that have been going sideways for two, three, four months, some of them even longer, that have earnings this week or next week. Who the hell is calling me? These damn salesmen, they only call for like one second. I don't know what's the, what the point is. No, wait, what? Something sketchy here. Oh, it was um. Uh. Uh. Uh, CRSR, yeah, it's a recent IPO. Corsair, oh, Corsair, I have Corsair keyboard. CRSR is, uh, there is no setup here, it just answered your own question. They need to be, this, the price needs to be close to the moving averages, not way above. <coughs> Sometimes they can work, like the, uh, but most of the time they don't really work that well. <laughs> Look cheap. <laughs> Corsair has been around forever. Like, if you're a gamer, you probably have owned uh, Corsair products. Own or have owned. Uh, what is a purple line? Uh, you mean the 10 day moving average? Which it says right here. That's the purple line. Or the exponential um, uh, uh, 10 period moving average on the 60 minute chart. Yeah, very sturdy keyboards. I, I, I'm missing a key on my keyboard though. I accidentally vacuumed it. And I was too lazy to uh, open the vacuum cleaner and and uh, reclaim the key. So uh, now I'm missing the page up key. The page up key. But it, I can still click it. But I'm just missing the key. How do I manage the hair? Well, it's very easy to vacuum it. Or actually, I, I, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't cleaned my keyboard in a while. And also, I don't clean my house. Uh, my cleaning lady does. So I'll have to ask her how she manages with my Luca hair. Yeah, yes, I mean, when I said the cleaning lady, I meant my mom, of course. <laughs> yes, thank you guys for correcting me. 
just buy a new one? Dude, I, I can't afford a bunch of new stuff all the time. <laughs> yes, exactly. My, my last name means Mountain of Gold. For anyone who uh, <laughs> who wants to know, I'm gonna rename I'm gonna rename it to Mountain of Bitcoin. Exactly, guys. Every time I have to buy something new, it means taking money out of my my trading accounts. That means I have to I have to do some paperwork. I hate paperwork. How do I pronounce my last name? Kulamagi. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how I pronounce it. Because I have to I have to scan the document where I have to put a physical signature and then I have to uh, email it to my broker. But I kind of pre-filled all the fields, so I just have to uh, put today's date, or, you know, the, I have to change the date and just put my signature. <sighs> CP doesn't make you do that? Why? I tried as a private person. It's a private individual. I'm kind of starting to get a little bit more bullish on the markets because what happened yesterday, we got this washout below the 50 day, the rising 50 day, and it, it, it closed very strong. Same thing uh, with the uh, S&P 500. So, you know, y yesterday could have been the end of the correction, P potentially, potentially. I, I, you know, I have no idea, but, you know, it could have been. But uh, again, we need to probably uh, a few more days before we know that. Damn, this SC, or sorry, excess. Uh, yeah, I do recommend stock B. Uh, if you leave the money in the trading account, do you pay tax on it? Yes. You pay tax on your profits. No, I, I have my account in my own private name. JKS. Uh, yeah, this thing is actually setting up. It's building higher lows here and it's getting tighter. In a couple of days, there could be a long setup here. What's SPWR doing? Oh, SPWR, look at this thing. It's, it's about to go green or not about to go green, but it's building. A, and look at this thing, it's building higher lows. This, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to see EMPH looks pretty good for, you know, it could be ready like in a couple of days. I'm starting to see some more and more uh, positive action here. Uh, like I got a little bit bearish like uh, 30 minutes ago when, when it looked like the solars were all breaking down from their flags, but it looks like it just built another higher low. Hmm, interesting. They have earnings tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. How do I pronounce my pa account password? Uh, let's see here. A B C 
one, two, three, four, five. That's how you pronounce my account password. Hunter two, what? Uh, yeah, exactly. A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Roku looks great. It's just bouncing off the 20 day today. I hope it puts in a tight range today. It could be a five star setup for tomorrow. And TTD, the same thing. I, I'm, I'm actually, you know, things are starting to look better. I'm not no, I'm not as cautious as I was 30 minutes ago and Tesla this thing tried to break down below the 50 it failed it, it's it's back in the base but it needs to go sideways but or actually it could be a setup if it closes like this or a bit higher it, it could be a set, you know it could be ready for tomorrow you know what yeah I'm at, yeah okay okay NIO this thing tried to break down it failed okay so this is how you trade you 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 need to wait you you don't you don't you know predict anything oh you know if uh, biden wins ev everything is gonna go up or everything is gonna tank or if trump wins everything is gonna go up or everything is gonna tank you know just in, in the, the, it's 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 all just you know waste of time what you do is you follow the leading stocks and you let them tell you okay they're gonna tell you when they're ready that's how you make tens of millions. You let the stocks tell you what they want to do. No predictions needed. No news needed. You don't need anyone's opinion. You don't need any, anyone on TV to tell you what to do. You don't need your friendly neighbor give you a hot stock tip. It's all a waste of time. What you need to do is focus on what's actually happening. You need to be attentive. You, you, you can't force your own opinion on the markets. FSLR, yeah, FSLR looks great. If we can tighten up one more day, man, yeah, all, yeah the solars are really good. So man, they, this is leading sector for now. Wait about the viewer strategy. It's right of working right now too. Is it? A friendly stock tip from the hot neighbor. Yeah, that you can consider. Yeah. Also, guys, life hack. If someone hot gives you a tip, you should listen. Hot people have a higher uh, win rate. Obviously, it was a joke, guys. <laughs> I look hot as fuck. Thank you very much. Should you take advice from your hooker? Well... <laughs> <laughs> she tell you how to you how to buy or to buy STD, yeah.
Beaky. Yeah. Have I ever thought about creating my investment fund or a long fund consisting of viewer tips and donations? No. What What do you mean by tips and donations? I have a th thought about creating a fund, but you know, I I really don't want to trade other people's money. It just adds so much more stress. Yes, yeah, Zoom. Um, there could be a potential short setup coming up in the next few days if it loses the 20 day. Um, but right now, no. Uh, you should be aiming at getting no more than say 50, 60 stocks in any of those scans. If you start getting like 70, 80 stocks, you should tighten your like volatility and or volume criteria. What, what is this ISIG? Why does it have a lot of volume? No, I haven't considered. You mean like, uh, nah, I like crowdsourced investment or trading portfolio? No, I don't really believe in, in something like that. I mean, just for fun, maybe, but nothing serious. When will I stop starting, stop trading and start investing? Um, I don't know. Speech and E, if we can tighten up a little bit, it would be a good setup. Looks like the market, and this is, this is, again, look at this thing, this 20 EMA, and now the market's getting rejected on it again, and the spies are getting rejected on 10 EMA on the 60 minute chart. We'll see. It's again, you know, and now, now I'm going to get stopped out of SC. <laughs> Very soon, I think. Does money buy you happiness? No. When you started trading, did you felt like you are ready for market? I, I, I felt ready for the markets on day one. Money can buy you a new boat, yes. Or in my uh, in my case, an, uh, a used boat. I only buy second hand. <laughs> Shopify. 
Like if Shopify can break out over this uh, 1100 area, like 1130 area maybe uh, on earnings in uh, two days, you know, it would be a really good setup. This thing could go to 1500. It's been going sideways for what? One, two, three, four months. That, you know, that look, yeah. It's a big flag. Look at the weekly chart. Looks great on the weekly chart. And you have a kind of series of higher lows. <laughs> Is my dream car second hand? That, that's actually not second hand. Can money bring you sadness? I don't know about that. You kind of have to screw up pretty big. In that case, uh, KXIN is, uh, yeah, it's flagging. This thing went up on no news, from what I remember. Uh, maybe it had some news later. Uh, I don't know why this thing went up. But yeah, it's kind of flagging. Uh, but it's too thin for me to trade. But you know, if you if, you, if it starts breaking this $5 range, if it can tighten up a bit more, you know, if you're fast, you know, you can definitely trade it. Let's see, what's Tesla doing here? Tesla... So Tesla so far looks like it's getting rejected on the daily chart, getting rejected on the 10 and 20. Like it needs to reclaim the 10 and 20 for it to be a long setup. So right now it's just um, range bound. What drink is more popular on Sweden? Vodka? More popular than what? Most popular? Um, well, Sweden is in the vodka belt. If you don't know what the vodka belt is, I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to show you guys. There are different alcohol belts. No, wait. Blue. These uh, countries where vodka based drinks are most popular. Uh, brown is beer and red is uh, wine. Sweden is firmly in the vodka belt, as you can see. So, yes. <laughs> it's whiskey or nothing, Ireland. Is Sweden the biggest vodka exporter in the world? Really? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, no, I use Market Smith to check earnings. Uh, it doesn't matter if it, you know, just. But yeah, I use it a lot to, for episodic pivots. And now net is getting slammed down. This is what happens, you know. The indices rallied into resistance again, and um, we'll see. Let's see if we can build a high, higher low, or if we can uh, take out yesterday's lows. Ideal scenario, I would uh, I would say, would be an undercut or a retest of the rising 100-day uh, and then get a rally into year-end. Um, but uh, we'll see. No, no need to predict. Roku? Wow, Roku is, uh, <laughs> Roku is hitting uh, highs of the day as the markets are pulling back. Twitter? Yeah, Twitter. I sold this thing three, four days ago. But man, this thing is... Uh, <laughs> all the social media stocks are strong. Snapchat, um, Pinterest. Yeah, they're all strong. 
KC, what's that? Oh, Kingsoft? I don't see a setup there. Chumia. Yeah, Chumia, I don't see a setup here. If I would short Tesla again, I wouldn't short it today, but in the next few days, yeah, sure. If it starts building, uh, if it gets rejected here, starts building lower highs and, you know, starts breaking some ranges to the downside, absolutely, if it, you know, loses the 50-day again. Yeah, LTHM is a nice-looking setup. Um, well, it's a strong stock. I don't see a setup here yet, but I am stocking this one. Seabat, yeah, it's another battery name. Uh, oof, this one doesn't even trade, but uh, yeah, sure. It's more. This is more of a pump stock. I don't know about this one. Uh, Chumia, yeah, this thing had a short setup yesterday. It did have, uh, like, if you have an extended stock, you know, it had a one leg higher, then it had a second leg higher, and it had a third leg higher, and the third leg, yesterday was the third day of the third leg. That's a classic, like, short setups, opening range lows, lower highs, uh, VWAP rejection, etc. You had all, you had all of these yesterday, I think. Yeah. So it, it had a little bit of pop out of the gate and then it started building, you know, it lost, uh, lost VWAP and then it kind of failed at VWAP. Um, so it, it was a, a decent like uh, swing entry, but it wasn't really extended enough for me because this percentage wise, this wasn't a big move, only 117%. It wasn't like, as extended like, as it was here. This was really a five star setup. I didn't short it there because I, I came in long that day. Dantes, yeah, ALB, you know, yeah, he's and he's correct. Like these things are, um, you know, in their good, you know, strong sectors. Snapchat? Yeah, Snapchat had a great short setup yesterday. Um, a really good. This is, this is you know, for a day trader, that's like, uh, you know, that's the most profitable day trading setup. We're going to have an extended stock that's up multiple days in a row. That's uh, that's a really good like they you can you can you know you can do them you can you know skin those several ways you can do opening range lows you can wait for the first red five minute candle you know you look for the VWAP fails you know stuff like that that's how I made my first like half a million mainly by shorting these types of stocks like day trading. BBY. Yeah, this thing, if the 20 day can catch up a little bit more, this is a high tide flag in the making. 
looks uh, pretty decent. CSIQ and other solar that looks good. Guys, do you see this? Do you see series of higher lows? The stock is trying to tell you something. All you have to do is listen. Three green days. Um, not that it all. Yeah, fourth day. Yesterday was the fourth day, and you also had a pretty, you know, big move. It kind of grinded higher, and then it started speeding up. That's you know when you when you get this type of action, you wait for the third, fourth day. Sometimes the second. It, it kind of depends, but you have to wait for the overextension, and then you look for these weaknesses, lower highs, VWAP fails. <laughs> wow this hog congrats to the guy who bought it on the opening range highs i totally missed this thing the earnings were kind of shitty uh let's see where, where where are they i need to look it up okay so they had a pretty decent beat okay all right so they, you know, pretty much uh, reported better than expected. It's not my type of EP, but I I I, I prefer to do uh, uh, like growth stocks. But these ty types can also work. These types can work too when you have kind of crappy numbers like falling revenue and stuff like that but it kind of still beats analyst expectations and and it wasn't like uh beaten down and that gone si sideways for like seven six seven months eight months you know these types work this it's like bbby too similar setup you had a beaten down name or actually this one kind of rallied into those earnings but you know it had a big beat and you can, you know, it's the same thing over and over again. That's the earnings, earnings gappers, a line, another one, Snapchat. We had so so far this earnings season, we had four good ones, a line, Snapchat, no three, uh, and uh, BBBY. And those those were what you look for. A line I passed on, Snapchat I passed on. Also, excess could be a good one. So far, this is exactly what you want to see. And I'm sitting here with 1,000 shares. I, I, you know, sometimes the best ones are the ones you don't get enough of because it just runs up straight up. LRN. Well, LRN, is, it wasn't, you know, it was below these moving averages. It got rejected on the 50 dates. You know, these ones that are beaten down and, you know, you, you want the ones that you kind of gap up above the moving averages. So they have some free air. That's how we, how we avoid these ones. FUV. Mm, I don't really see anything here. NIO, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, well, it's strong. Uh, sometimes I book by some pre-market or after hours, but I usually wait for the opening range eyes. <clears throat>
MDLA. Uh, it looks like a piece of shit. Oh, Twitter hitting new highs, man. I guess I should have waited. I, I just sold this one. I didn't wait for this thing to stop me out. I just thought it was going to stop me out. So I kind of sold it prematurely. This is why you, you know, don't overwrite the sell rules. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of 50-50. Uh, I, I got scared out of it. That's what happened. And now it's hitting new highs. Game short, my favorite stock. It's not my favorite stock. It's just a random stock. Yes, you can trade pre-market and after hours in Interactive Brokers. I'm starting to get, if, especially if we can close strong today, I would be, uh, I, I'm starting to get a little bit excited. Because I see there are things setting up, there are things shaping up here. It's not all doom and gloom. When, wait, when, when's the election? Is it the 6th? 2nd? Wait, when is the election? Third. Okay, so I almost got it right. So it's exactly one week, okay. Good to know. Oh, yeah, GME. Oh, yeah, it's GameStop. Uh, yeah, GameStop, yeah. <laughs> exactly, who the hell, you know... Like, if you go... If you pass a GameStop, there's like... Are they are they even selling games anymore? Did, did you, all you see are these like toys and stuff. Like no one buys games on DVD anymore. Who the hell buys a game on DVD? Well, I know who does. Boomers do. Only boomers buy games on uh, on DVD. Hey David, are you in chat? Did I offend you? Hey David, did I just offend you? <laughs> it's kind of funny, people are like asking for David <laughs> when I mentioned boomers. <laughs> Is David in chat? Is Reno in chat? David is in chat. David? David is... Um, 80. Uh, get, David must be away from the keyboard. Uh, Reno too. Oh no, Reno is here. Oh, he's busy with his trading? He's here? Okay. <laughs> Where were I yesterday? I was uh, <laughs> I was in a parking lot trading uh, the open from my car because uh, I can kind of messed up the time. Sweden went to winter time on Sunday, so now the market opens one hour earlier. You made the same mistake. You went to winter time in Ireland too. Yeah, so. Uh, I I, I realized like 30 minutes before the market, I thought the market was going to open in an hour and 30 minutes, while in reality it, it was uh, 30 minutes from the open, I, I couldn't get home in that time. So I had to trade it from my car. Yeah, I was in the gym and ate lunch. Yeah, but it's, you know, I don't, I don't know the 
you know, yeah, I know. It, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. It, it was an amateur mistake. I haven't made that mistake in many years. But it feels like my cognitive... My, my cognitive uh, power is kind of declining. I've been missing a lot of appointments lately. It, it's, not, it's not good. I don't know. Maybe I'm going senile. I'm going to be senile before I get old. That's kind of bad. That's what happens when you sit like sit in front of your computer 15 hours per day. That's what happens. Guys, you need to work out. You need to you need to be out in nature or you're going to go um see not. The hell is going on with this one? S R R K. Like if you're young and fast and hungry, you can catch these ones. Look at this thing. Opening range highs. What was the news? Phase two, proof of concept data, you know. If you're fast, you know, I kind of ignore these smaller cap names, but, you know, if, you, if you're, if you know, I used to trade these much more. If you're fast, you can catch this. And, you know, if you have bought it opening range highs, you would be up 40%. <laughs> Not bad for an hour and 10 minutes of work. You've been losing hair from trading? I lost all my hair from trading. That's what happens when you get too comfy and lazy? Yeah, that, yeah that's true. No, it's not earnings. It was uh, uh, biotech related. They had data. Biotech data can be some of the best episodic pivots. I haven't traded biotech in a long time. Last time I, I remember I had a home, tr home run biotech trade was AMRN back here when it reported data. Back in what, what year is this? 2018, September 2018. It broke out late day. Like this thing had already traded like 100 million vol uh, shares or something like that when it broke out, when it took out opening range highs. Broke out late day and it went up 125% uh, in uh, a month and a half or so. You know, that, that's what you want to see. Look at the volume. You know, big gap up, big volume. You know, you see something like this. This is why, you know, this is why volume is so important, these episodic pivots. Like this thing was barely trading. Like it only traded like 3, 4, 5 million shares per day and then boom, suddenly... It traded like 10 million shares in the first couple of minutes, right? Same thing with Snapchat uh, last week. Look at the volume. This is how big moves start. This is how big moves start. Big moves start from strength. Many times, not always. Uh, but this is, you know, if you, if, you, if you understand how stocks move, if you study, you know, thousands of stocks going back many decades you 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 will see this this happens all the time same thing here it gapped up on big volume look at the move it made right i don't check futures i haven't checked futures in uh, since like february Chris Camilla will open the first edition Pokemon box. I don't know what this that is. Worth three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars live on stream in one hour. Really? Oh, I'm gonna send it to my girlfriend. She loves Pokemon.
I don't see anything on his Twitter about the Pokemon thing. Oh, it's on YouTube? Why uh, Why didn't he post on... Uh, Dumb Money Live? Okay. But that's not Chris Camillo, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, uh, opening range highs. You can, if you watch the YouTube video, that's um, right on your screen. Well, I talk about it a lot. How how much percent size I have in? I uh, have maybe one ten thousandth of my net worth. AKA very little. Man, this Shopify looks intriguing. Um, it feels like it wants to run up into earnings. Shopify, October 29th. So it has two more full trading. Oh man, I'm a little bit tempted by this one. I'm not gonna lie. It looks so good. I mean a market wizard book? No. Eggy? Mmm, there's nothing here. Man, the Shopify is actually growing on me. It looks really, really good. And now it's above the 20 day too. It's above the rising 20 day and the 10 day. It's so above all the moving averages. The only thing is. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tempted, man. I'm tempted. CGC? Uh, not yet. NBEV? Uh, not yet. Tupperware, yeah. How's Tupperware go? Oh, it's still setting up. Oh, it's it's still setting up. It's still you know it's getting tighter and tighter, and if it's bounced off the 50 day, and yeah, you know this thing if it breaks out, it's gonna be a good setup. It also it actually, yeah, yeah, looks good. Chris is in the same market wizard book like me. I'm not in market wizard books. I wish I was. But you don't have to be um, in a book to be a market wizard. <laughs> uh, not that I'm a market wizard. I'm a market idiot. You don't need to be a wizard to make tens of millions. You can be an idiot. You just don't... You can be an idiot, but you can't be a retard. You don't have to be a genius either. As long as you're not a genius or a retard, you're gonna be fine. Kirk? Uh, yeah, it looks good. In a couple of days, it breaks out. Stock B's 4B, 4% method. I don't like the 4% method. Because 4% on a high ADR stock is not a lot. and uh, But 4% on a low ADR stock can be, uh, you know, it could be twice the average daily range. I don't like the concept of 4%. What you need to be focus on, focused on is you know, just seeing range breakouts. It doesn't matter if it's 2% or 7%. Or, you know, 7% is, you know, you know, only on a very high ADR stock. Uh, 
Peloton, yeah, it's finding support here. This thing also, in a couple of days, it could be a long setup if it keeps building higher lows and uh, tightens up. I I'm short for now. My, uh, it's, it's a free trade. I'm short from way higher. Um, so we'll see. Oh, Roku. Oh my god, this thing is so strong. Such a strong stock. Incredible. Yeah, things are setting up for tomorrow. They really are. For tomorrow and later this week. But the Shopify Shopify is tempting, I'm not gonna lie. I may do a starter position and if it has a run up into earnings I may keep it. Uh, but I'm not gonna do full size, or maybe I am, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Mm. <laughs> yeah, things are starting to trigger now. HCMP is triggering. JD just triggered. This is such a slow moving name now. But it looks good. Baba, what's this? Oh, Baba is a wide range one. Like, if it can tighten up for a couple of days, that would be really good. And the 20 day needs to catch up, obviously. Alright, I'm gonna do a last scan. I'm gonna cut the stream. Again, there are positive signs. Uh, I, I, I think there are a lot of positive signs for the market. A lot of things are starting to set up. Tesla, yeah, Tesla could be good also for starting tomorrow. Tesla could be really, really good. And they also just reported earnings, so you don't have that have to worry about that event. All right, looks like AQs are starting to take out highs of the day. <sighs> yeah, Baba is a slow moving one. Levongo. Yeah, they have reported. Too bad to report tomorrow after hours. It would have been much better if they reported pre market. Much better. But that's what it is. Have a good day, David. Hey, David, are you going to go shoot your gun? Have you tested your new gun yet? Yeah, Tesla is strong. Shovel snow. <laughs> Are you shoveling snow with your new gun? That sounds dangerous. Oh, you shot your gun. I want to own a gun. But Sweden has really uh, big restrictions. Mike, <laughs> if you if you know if you had follows on the if you had followed the instructions on the screen, you wouldn't be asking me about options. Russell two thousand relative weakness. Yep, yep, it is interesting. This thing actually showed relative strength up until yesterday, and now it's showing relative weakness. Interesting, but you know it is what it is. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, David, were you shoveling snow? Do you have snow where you live already? Jesus. Okay, see you guys.